Hi, family. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. This word is very, very, very important. Do not skip. Watch all the way to the end. The Lord has led me to release this word to somebody. This word is going to be for someone. God is saying to you right now to be warned. I had uh, this word I prepared yesterday. Is it yesterday? No. Maybe a few days ago when I was on the break that I had. And... I wanted to release that word today, but as I was just preparing, I could just hear the Lord saying to one them, warn them to be careful, warn them to listen to me. So there's going to be some of you that the Lord will be telling you to go a certain place, and the Lord wants you to listen to him. God is saying, be careful to listen to what I'm saying, and be careful not to listen to what other people may be telling you to do. I've been a victim of this before. And God wants you to be warned. This is so important. There is nothing worse than you missing out on what God wants to do in your life. Because you chose to listen to other people. Because you chose to listen to somebody else. Family friend or a friend. So the Lord is saying, be careful. And even in this season, the Lord is going to begin to open your eyes to the truth. God is going to begin to reveal some persons to you in your life. That have been in your life or around your life. That as friends but are not really friends even some family members god wants to just take you away from those persons because god doesn't want them to um some people have plans against you but you don't know this would not be for everybody but this one will resonate with you some of you there's some persons in your family or friends that you may feel like oh i trust this person they're loyal to me they've made themselves look loyal They've made themselves look trustworthy. But God is saying, I want you to put all your all of your trust in me in this season, even now and always. God is saying he wants you to trust in him. He wants you to listen to him. Be careful to listen to what he tells you to do. Um, just being discerning in this season, in this hour is key. Okay. So that's that's what the Lord wants somebody uh, to hear right now. God, God is sending you somewhere. You know he's sending you somewhere. God, God wants to do something major, big in your life. Okay. And God is saying, just be careful to, to listen to me and, and to obey what I tell you to do and to go where I tell you to go and not to listen to other people that are telling you, oh, going this way may not make any sense, right? Um, to them, you know, like they're not working with Christ or, or maybe they, they don't have, you know, that spiritual connection that you do one-on-one -on -one with the Lord. So you can't really blame them. Some people are just ignorant, right? Because they actually don't know. When you don't know something, your ignorance in that area right so but, but you know better and you've been working with the lord and you know the voice of god so god doesn't want you to put his own guidance to the side obey him there is blessing for the obedience when you obey the lord the lord comes and says bless you hallelujah so please be warned this is a warning it's a very very deep one it's a very serious warning there's so much god wants to give to you wants to release to you, wants to bless you with. But God is saying, be careful to listen to what I tell you to do in this season. And I'm going to be revealing some, some truths and some mysteries, some hidden secrets. Hallelujah. God, God, Father God is going to be revealing lots of things to you. And that's why you need to wait upon him more. Spend more time waiting, just being silent, being still, looking into the word or just worshiping, just, just you and the Lord when the, when the house is you know, quiet. Hallelujah. The plan and the trap of the enemy, the Lord has begun to reveal for some of you as well. Just stay close to the Lord. Amen. God will show you more of what the enemy planned. Hallelujah. Amen. What, what the enemy has planned against you, it will not prosper. It will not prevail. God will scatter whatever plan they orchestrate against you. Amen. And I, and I connect my faith with your faith in this season that as you choose to walk with the Lord and obey him and, and do what he tells him, he tells you and instructs you to do, God will deliver you and God will save you and bless you and lift you up. Do not be like Jonah, that God was telling him, go this way, but he wasn't listening, right? Jonah was not listening at all. He ended up going in the way that he wanted to go. And we know what happened after that. So don't be disobedient like Jonah. Um, there are causes for the, for, the, for the disobedience, not only causes, like major serious consequences and god doesn't want you to experience that he wants you to experience the blessing right so 
where you are, you've been there for a long time and God is bringing you out for somebody, listen. Learn to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Ask God for grace to listen and to be obedient to his word. And he will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Um, I want us to pray. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, thank you for your word. I give you praise, glory, and honor. I pray for the person listening right now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that their situation is right now, I'm asking, Lord, that you will grant them a heightened discernment for this season. More grace in this season to love you, to obey you, to work with you, and to do what you're telling them to do. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let every truth come out, Lord. Let everything that has been hidden, Lord, be exposed in Jesus' mighty name. Every evil plan and trap of the enemy, let it, let it come out and be scattered in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Lord, protect this one that is listening, my brother, my sister in Christ. Lord, protect them from more evil, Lord. Let some mighty one be their passion in Jesus' mighty holy name. As they wait upon you, Heavenly Father, reveal more to them, Heavenly Father. Show them, Lord, even what the enemy is planning, Lord, that they will know how to use wisdom to live their lives lord in jesus mighty holy name i cover you with the blood of jesus christ of nazareth it is well with you in jesus mighty holy name god has so much he wants to do in your life please be careful to listen to the voice of the lord and don't listen to the opinions of family and friends not every family and friend there's some persons that god will genuinely speak through them and they're working with the lord so just ask for wisdom and uh, uh, the spirit of discernment and the lord will help you in Jesus' mighty, holy name. God bless you all. If you're here for the first time, please subscribe. Subscribe to Newman Gospel with Church. And if you're here for the first time, also, my name is Glenn Osama here. And I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more than I can ever do. This is our year of Jubilee. And just get ready. You all that have not celebrated or had any testimonies yet, God has got you, child of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have you given your life to Jesus? I want to pray for you very quickly. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my all. I believe that you died for me. And I believe you were raised up on the third day. I ask that you come into my heart. I give you my life. And I receive your forgiveness. I receive your Holy Spirit into my spirit. I declare I am saved. I am being born again. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Uh, get a Bible if you don't have one. Send me an email if you said that prayer for the first time. Um, and just stay with the Lord. Amen. Just stay with the Lord and keep obeying God at all costs. There are blessings for it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And also, this one is for somebody. There's a particular sin that you've been dealing with. God is saying to you, make up your mind. Make up your mind. I don't know who this word is going to be for. Make up your mind. Once you make up your mind, I don't know what that sin is. If it's lust, if it's, if it's gluttony, if it's gossiping, if it's sexual sin, whatever it is, God is saying, when you make up your mind to work with me, when you make up your mind to work with me, the devil cannot unmake your mind. When you, make, when you make up your mind to go the way of righteousness, I will come in and help you with my righteous right hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So just make up your mind to desire righteousness instead of the other thing. Make up your mind and the Lord will come into helping you. Because you haven't made up your mind yet that, Lord, this is what I want. I want to shift. I want to come out. You haven't really made up your mind. To you, you may, you may feel like, You've made your mind up. But God is saying, my child, just make up your mind today that you want me and me alone. And I will come in and fill you with the whole of me. Righteousness, holiness, peace, everything in Jesus' mighty name. And I also place upon you all that are listening, the, the, the mark of Christ. Let it be upon every single one of you. Because there's so much evil that I've just been hearing going on these days. You are, especially in the country where I am in Nigeria. Kidnappings and all sorts. Wherever you go, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No evil will come near you. Let the mark of Christ be upon you in Jesus' mighty name. That mark of supernatural exemption, I place it upon you in Jesus' mighty name. That when evil comes near you, it will go by. It will not come. It will not come upon you in Jesus' mighty holy name. Because of the mark of Christ upon you. Be mightily blessed you all. With lots of love, shalom and blessings to you all.